New information in the shooting of a Lombard police detective. For the first time, we are seeing one of the men behind the armed robbery that led to that shooting. But we want to focus on the investigation and the detective who's out of surgery tonight. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is in Lombard for us this evening. Megan. We know he is in stable condition and continuing to recover at a local hospital. He's 33 years old and a six year veteran of the Lombard Police Department. The strip mall behind me has many businesses in it, and one of them was even filled with kids at the time of the shooting. We made the call to call all the parents and tell them that to stay home, not to come. It was a call that the employees at this autism care therapy center never thought they'd have to make. We took all the kids and the therapists in the room and we kept them in the back. It was a disturbing 911 call from the pipes and tobacco store around 4 p.m. yesterday that brought Lombard police to this Roosevelt Road strip mall. Or not. Guy called and said it, he just got robbed. There were guys inside with guns. He's like barely, he's like whispering. Responding officers found two male suspects. Police said one opened fire and police returned fire. We're at Anna Lincoln, Anna Lincoln. We need two medics. Police say this is a still frame from the body camera video, which appears to show a puff of smoke around the suspect. The village of Lombard told me they will not be releasing the full body camera video at this time. That 33 year old detective was struck and one suspect was also hit and died from his injuries. This evening he was identified on social media as 27 year old Pierre Thompson. At last check, a second suspect is currently in custody with charges pending. The DuPage County State's Attorney's Office could only tell me they did not have a bond hearing for that surviving suspect today. Right now, they don't have an update on charges, but we will, of course, keep following up. In Lombard, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.